Hey, YouTube. <laughs> Back today for round three. <laughs> it was a good mail day. This one is something that uh, I have got. Well, since I, I started getting into cigars oh, a year ago, you know, more than I had been before because I started, you know, hanging out with people that knew more about cigars and could actually give me some advice and point me in the direction of some that I might like, you know, the Ghost Cobb is one. Uh, Jeremy Larson was one that, you know, he showed me some places to get some stuff that was less expensive. And then uh, I met those two and then Big John showed up and he had all kinds of connections and uh big john is the reason john laughlin if you're not subscribed to him i'll make sure to get a link to his channel in there but he's the reason that this box is here he was the one that found the first cigar that i tried was called the tabernacle which if you don't know is blended by nick melillo who is was the head blender at drew estate for 14 years and then decided to step out and start a, his own company so he started foundation cigars well i had already figured out that i liked the liga provada line and the uh, undercrown line which was also nick malilo's blends so when i saw this tabernacle and heard john talk about how good it was i had to try some of those and so i did and then i proceeded to try some more of the foundation stuff and as near as I can tell, there are some blenders that Nick Melillo is one and AJ Fernandez are another that it would appear that if their name is on it, I'm going to like it. I, I haven't had a bad cigar from either one of those guys yet. There are a few others, you know, Oliva. I've had some, the Oliva Connecticut's that they are really good at what they are, but they're just, I prefer a more full-bodied full flavored cigar so that's not my preference but they are uh, it's a really good Connecticut um, so anyway <laughs> get to talking and learning more about foundation and all this stuff and I find out that as I'm watching what's coming and all this and that and this year they have a new cigar coming out that I figured I wouldn't even get a shot at, let alone actually be able to order some of my own. So Big John got a hold of a box of these and uh, he was sitting out, we were talking on a house party the other night and he was smoking one of them. and. Uh, he was talking about the notes and stuff that he was getting off of it. And it took me about five minutes to get on a website and get a box order just from his description and the way he was talking about it. So for those of you out there that are into pipes and maybe getting started down the line of cigars, tobacco acquisition disorder does not know it's it does not discriminate it's not just a pipe thing <laughs> it's a cigar thing too <sighs> so really didn't need to order a box of these but it's from Nick Melillo uh, these are something that for a while this was his event exclusive cigar like the only way you could get these was to be at an event that he himself was at and there would be a few you know he'd have them to hand out to people here and there so once I get this seal broke here I'll show you but for those that don't know what I have purchased is a box of the Menelix these will be released from everything that I have seen. These will be released in batches of 1,000 boxes once a quarter. 
and they will only be going to select uh, foundation retailers. So, the retailer, if you watch John's Sunday night video, is Scallywag Cigars. They're based out of Arizona. But anyway, this is the, the first box of cigars that I have actually ordered. So there's the top of it. It's 12 cigars, which, you know, if you've looked at these, you know what they are. And then... Oh, there's the inside. Oh, Lordy. This is... Yeah, this is why it's just such a problem. So, there you go. 12 men licks. And that, the art... The art that they use on their packaging, their art director is... Uh, Chief Operandi is his name. And there's a whole series on YouTube if you go look at about their art director and how they came to use this guy for their art and whatever else. It's it's pretty cool. Oh yeah, that's going to be right up my alley. I can tell you already. <laughs> so, anyway, I have not obviously smoked one of these yet. These are going to go in a box and get right from being on the truck because a lot of times when things get shipped they get dried out and that kind of thing but I will give them at least well I'd say I'll give them a few days I will probably be having one of these this weekend and you know just take the shot that they're okay so anyway uh, if you have not go check out Big John and uh I will, I would expect on this channel that when I get to smoking one of these, I'll do a, probably try to do a video of that, just to kind of get first impressions, see what they're all about, but anyway, until we I get back on here, we get a chance to talk again, remember, life is short, stop and smell the smoke.